breaking news. And that breaking news, a shooting sends one person to the hospital. Thanks so much for being with us at 6. I'm Kelly Sasso. And I'm Mike Clark. The gunfire erupting in Pittsburgh's Brighton Heights neighborhood. Let's get right out to Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Mike Valenti on the scene with what he learned from police. Mike? Yeah, Mike Kelly, police have started to clear the scene now, but there's still quite a bit of people hanging around talking about what happened, trying to unpack what they saw and heard. I'll get out of the way so I can show you where investigators were concentrating their efforts. You see those bushes right near a parking lot. It's right next to the Lynn Williams apartment building. Police say that an older man was walking by those bushes. He apparently saw uh, another man who appeared to be in a moment of distress was apparently not in his right state of mind. That older man offered to help, was checking in with him, and then police say that man in the bushes produced a gun and then started firing. We just spoke to uh, someone who heard the gunshot, said that they heard about a dozen. That seems to align with what police told us, that the first report came out was a 13-round shot spotter. We're told that older man who was shot multiple times is now in, quote, very critical condition was rushed to the hospital. Police officers responding here within about a minute or two of the shots being fired. According to a spokesperson with Pittsburgh Public Safety, that man still had the gun in his hand when police officers came. She said that officers had to uh, uh, physically detain the man by wrestling him to the ground and simultaneously they produced a taser and deployed that taser against the man to try to get him under control and put him in custody because of the deployment of that taser that man the suspect was then taken to a hospital to be treated now we're still trying to piece together uh, the circumstances surrounding this shooting but again uh, at the top we know according to police that this was just an older man who was walking by around 4 p.m this afternoon saw someone who appeared to need help offered to provide help, asked the man what was happening, and then that man then allegedly started firing at that older man. We're still trying to figure out what happened, see how that person is doing. As soon as we learn any more information, we'll bring you the latest on air and online on WTA.com. We're live in Brighton Heights tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.